Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't led us down so far. Let's find the norms. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. 
You will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. <sighs> he stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Thank you.